Hello YouTube, it's me TFL Wilderness. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my third Korean Toy Bot review of this month. Um, you're lucky you're getting free this month. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I decided to get free Korean toys this month because um, obviously I wanted to get um, Jesty or well, Zesty off uh, 11 Street. And my second attempt at trying to get it and finally got it. Um, but I was still going to buy these other two figures that I bought. Obviously uh, you've seen my review on um, uh, Night Hopper. Uh, which was the, the uh, my first uh, foray into the the new Hello Carbot to Samba line, but this figure, this figure I've got now, is uh, turning the clock back right the way back to the beginning, so to speak, um, because it's a reissue of a toy mold that was originally came out in 2014, and uh, as some of you may know, I started my journey as a adult Transformers collector and you know YouTube reviewer back in. Um, what was it, uh, May 2014 was when I first started. So, yeah, <laughs> these go all the way back to the beginning, so to speak. Now, it's a figure from a, a toy line which I've sort of dabbled in over the years. It's the uh, the Mini Force toy line. And the Mini Force toy line has been going for a good few years now. Well, it's been going since 2014. And um, over the years, it's um, changed and metamorphosed in from one thing to another. And Mini Force is basically a rip-off of Power Rangers, basically. Um, you've got these little little animal creatures which then turn into, like, you no know, ranger people, and then they, they go into these robots and fight these giant monsters. Um, they have uh, individual bots which can combine together, and they, had, uh, they started off with uh, three seasons of, you know, vehicle combiners, and then they moved on to... Uh, you no know, dino, dino combiners, dinosaur, you know, bots, and they've run with that for a couple of seasons. And now their latest thing is they're moving over to animal bots. So, yeah, so we, we, and they're called force bots, uh, mini force force bots. But um, like I said, we're going back to the beginning. And um, um, years ago, I got hold of this guy. This is one of the original mini force figures. This is a uh, mini force vault bot. He's one of the original uh, mini force figures. And uh, I decided I wanted to get at least one figure from the line, and I decided to go for for uh, for Volt. Um, don't care much for the aesthetic on this car mode. I think it looks really ugly, but the, the bot mode's all right. And the original toys were made by Sonocon, which is one of the you know, like the second biggest you know uh, toy firm in uh, Korea, well South Korea, obviously, uh, in, in South Korea, um, next to Young Toys, which is by far the biggest. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a, a pretty decent figure. It's just a shame it's uh, you know the aesthetic on the alt mode a bit a, a bit uh, a bit rubbish. But uh, it's a decent figure. Now, like I said, um, the rest of the figures from that line, the other f you know four bots that made up the combiner, I, I kind of give them a, a, a pass. And uh, over the years, that line they've moved on to other lines like you know, like the Mini Force X line. You know, I bought into that and I went went ahead and got the combiner and. What a shocking piece of crap that was, or it turned out to be. But um, then they moved on to the Penta X, and then obviously you know, the Super Power Dino stuff. And uh, yeah, so it, th th this toy line has moved and evolved over the years. But um, just recently, I've uh, well, I found out that the original Mini Force uh, figures were being reissued. They've been re-released, and I I've decided to look back at the original. Well, I haven't actually been watching the show, even though it's on Netflix. Um, I've decided to look back at the original toy line, and, and I've sort of come to the... My opinion on them has mellowed slightly, and I've, I've come to the decision that uh, I'd like to get the original Mini Force combiner, even though aesthetically it looks it looks horrible. <laughs> um, it looks so plain and boring. It just looks like a bunch of cars just stuck together. You know, it's it's not really got any style to it. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty crude in its appearance. However... Given that the Pentastorm X figure that came after it, which looked amazing, but you know had absolutely shocking build quality and design engineering on it, because um, those figures were made by a different toy company to the ones that made the original Mini Force uh, figures, which was Sonicon. It made by a company called Gaia, I think it was, and they didn't have a clue how to build, you know, a, <laughs> a transforming robot toy, and it showed in the uh, the design and the build quality on them figures. But um, the original figures, like this guy, he's actually really well built and really well engineered. And I thought, well, maybe there was something in the original combiner. So I decided 
I'm going to go back and get the figures to make the original combiner, even though some of them, aesthetically, they look a bit weird. Um, uh, one of them especially, but... So I've got another one from the line, um, one of the reissue bots. I bought it from 11th Street, and uh, yes, you know, I've been buying stuff off the 11th Street over the years, and, well... <sighs> Let's put it this way, this will probably be the last product I buy from 11th Street. I've been having a lot of trouble with that website lately. Um, I'm going to go into details in my end of month bottle video, which will be coming tomorrow, by the way, because obviously this is going out on uh, Saturday the 30th, and obviously my end of month bottle is at the end of the month, which will be Sunday the 31st. So uh, because you know, I've run out of, uh, I, I like to put my uh, my reviews out on a, on a Saturday morning at 9.30. This was the only Saturday that was left. I could have you know, rolled this figure on into uh, November, but I'm getting more bots in November. And uh, so I thought I'd get this one out of the way now. So anyway, before we actually get into the figure, the, the, the second figure, um, let's look at the packaging. So I decided to go for Lucy Bot. Uh, she's the... Um, Sort of like the token uh, female or fembot, you know, well, token female character of the group, and she's pink, obviously. Um, but you know, she kicks ass, and then you know, she she can run with her boys, so that's all right. And uh, so here's the packaging for the figure, and uh, there's Lucy down there, because like I said, they start out as little animal creatures, and then they they turn into um, they turn into uh, like Power Ranger dudes, and then they can jump into the uh, the, you know the big the four spots and then they can you know power up and uh, fight bad guys and then they can combine together to form you know, bigger bots that can fight even bigger baddies now this is the reissue packaging I've got to uh, vaults original box here as well so this is what the original packaging used to look like um, large window bit of artwork logo logo lots of Korean hangul all over it on the side it shows you the, the two-stage combination and then it's got pictures of the uh, the figure on the back and then you've got the, uh, the, the the combiner now interestingly enough all the pictures on the original packaging were product shots of the actual toys now the new the new box a lot more stylish it's got a smaller window but it's got you know it's got mini force it's got a bit more English on it CGI renders of the uh, the character on the side but it's the design of the box is much much better. It's still a heavy cardstock box, you know, because the other box is you know, it's it's a little bit um, it's a little bit shorter, but it's a it's a little bit wider. Um, it's about the same width, but it's a little bit thicker because uh, Lucy's a chunkier figure. Um, but anyway, you know, it's got pictures on the side that shows the combination into the uh, the the two bot. And then it's got the CGI renders of the combiner <laughs> from the show rather than the actual toy. So it still looks bad, I think. I still the combiner still looks bad, but I'm I'm giving I'm giving it a go. I've I've kind of come round to the opinion that I want to get all three of the original you no know, mini force combiners. Um, I've got you no know, um, I've got the uh, mini force X combiner. I've got a couple of figures for the uh, the Penta X combiner, but. Uh, I want to get this one out of the way first, seeing as these figures have just been reissued. So, anyway, there's the packaging. A pretty substantial box. Comes with two instruction sheets uh, on a very sort of recycled sort of uh, paper. Um, one shows you the uh, the um, the combination that you know shows you how to transform the the, the main bot and then combine it with the. Uh, the, uh, the second bot, the leg bots, to form the, the two bot com combination. And then you've got the other one which shows you how to do the, the four bot, you know, combiner mode. So two sets of instructions. And here is she is, or here is her four spot. And it's a big, chunky pink SUV. And it's, obviously it's, it's shown in my, my camera now as a really like a hot pink kind of colour. But it's, it's actually more of a, you know, a decent pink. But you can see it's a nice chunky vehicle mode it's got a really good weight to it now the, the thing is that these figures are reissues of the original toy so they're not made by sonicon this one was made by sonicon and the build quality is very good on it but you'd think this one was made by what was the who made this one let's have a look Huing feng tai acg and toys company limited 
whatever that is. Some Chinese company. Have, anyway, however, I'm happy to report that the build quality on this is possibly as good as the original, if not maybe slightly better in some ways. It's got the, no, it's got the usual lovely shiny plastic. Pegs together really solidly in vehicle mode. It's got large pinned wheels which roll ex exceedingly well. It's got a decent, you know, nice solid weight to it. And in messing around with this, I've never had any you know, QC issues with it whatsoever. And uh, the build quality does seem pretty damn good, honestly. I I'm quite impressed. And yes, they do combine together. So th this is obviously a rework of the original moulds which I assume Sonicon did, so somebody else, some other company's got, got them and is, is churning them out. But anyway, vehicle mode. Big pink SUV, very butch, very bulky. It, uh, yeah, not much more you can say about it, really. Transformation into her base robot mode is uh, quite, uh, quite cool. Um, so, you can start by pulling the legs out and then you know, there's a bit of parts forming you've got this piece here which fits into there and then you bring that down to form the chest and then you can straighten the legs split them and then there's a little footsie panel that comes down and that's uh, that's the robot mode legs then you got unplug the arms fold them out to the side you can then extend the arms slightly and then bring them down take them forwards you've got these fists that then fold out like so and then finally the head reveal where it pops up like that and there we have our Lucy bot or Lucy's force bot in robot mode and I think it looks pretty cool um it's got decent proportions. It actually, in robot mode, it looks better than uh, Volt's uh, robot mode. So if you just give me a moment, I'll just transform that quickly. Right, so... Oh, turn around. There we have Volt in his robot mode, and there's Lucy in her robot mode, or force bot mode. Um, yeah, as you can see, size-wise, they're about the same. Lucy's got a lot more girth and width to her. And uh, I'll spread them legs out a little bit. And uh, yeah, so the aesthetic, you know, they do have a slightly different aesthetic going on. I mean, this guy's all right in robot mode. But this guy, I think, or this gal, rather, is, uh, is better. Um, got a good weight. Um, articulation is okay. Uh, bearing in mind, this is a, a, a Korean toy that goes back to 2014. I mean, it's. I mean, even today, they still certain, you know, intermediate articulation joints. They don't bother with them. Um, but um, it's got a nice head rotation. You've got sort of a, an upper sort of bicep swivel for the arm. The arm goes up and down on a on a ratchet there. Um, the arm can go in and out on that ratchet joint there. Also, it can go backwards and forwards a little bit on this joint here. So that's the uh, articulation on the arms. There's nothing at the waist. Um, now the hips go, go forwards, they go back, nice resounding clicks. Um, she can do a full spread. Knees, a bit squeaky, but you do get over 90 degrees, so you get a reasonably deep knee bend. 
And there's nothing really at the feet, it's just a, a, a fixed, they've got a slight cut to give it a neutral A stance, the usual thing. So it's not super flush with uh, articulation, but it, it, it's enough. You, you can pull off some uh, semi-dynamic poses with this thing. So there's the robot mode. It's, it's, it's fairly chunky. It's pretty solid. It, it holds together really well. Um, quick size comparison with my usual size comparator, Mr. Combiner Wars Megatron. And you can see it's a pretty much a solid old school leader class scale bot. And yeah, it's 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 all right. I I, li I quite like it actually. I think it's all right. I mean, obviously you can sort of fold them down a bit if you want. Um, but this isn't all that it does. It does have other modes. It has the two combiner modes. So it has the two bot combiner mode and the four bot combiner mode. Now for the two bot combiner mode, what you do, you start off by taking this this crest thing off here and stick it on top. Of the robot mode head then I think we've got to put the legs together and then you fold you've got to fold this piece out underneath that piece there that waste piece you've got to take from there and put it in there Uh, I'm trying to remember how to do this. Oh, that's right, yeah. You pull the, the legs off at the waist, the bit parts for me, pull them off. The, uh, the, the, the robot mode, the old robot mode arms just sort of fold back up into shoulder pauldrons, or into the shoulders. That's it, like so. And then the legs, you transform them into arms. So you fold that up and then you fold out a fist. And then that, there's these little hatches on the side with a little flap that you have to open up. You get a little peg there and then you plug in an arm. And then the other side, you do the same. Get the leg, fold away the foot, fold out the fist, plug it in because, like, like I said, it's got these little little flaps. See there, and there's a combiner peg. Plug that in there, uh, and this other piece just this, this other piece, this uh, this this waist section just sort of actually folds like that and there's Lucy's sort of top half of the the two bot combiner so the the uh, Max and uh, Sammy they split into leg sections which then plug into here and then that becomes a two bot combiner this looks pretty good actually I, I like the way this looks um, until I get Max and Sammy I can't do the two bot combiner thing which is a shame but um, yeah I like the way this looks and you can actually make improve, slight improvements to it. I mean, obviously you can fold them in as well. And I found that if you angle these back and then you bring this forward like that, then fold the head back a little bit, you can sort of angle it forwards like that. And then you bring the arms forward. And I, I, I quite like that. You can sort of angle the, the chest, so to speak, in there. Uh, I like that. I think that looks a lot cooler because you can see the, the you know the, the 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 shoulders the shoulder wings just splay out like that, and I think that looks a lot cooler. And that would be a much cooler look when you put some uh, leg bots on it. Now, let's uh, do this into his combiner mode. Okay, again, if I can remember how to do it. Right. So uh, there's Vault in his two bot combiner mode. And uh, look at the two together, and I still think Lucy looks a lot better than Volt in the uh, the two bot combiner. That's just my opinion. So yeah, she wins in that regard. And but like I said, until I can get hold of uh, Max or Sammy, I can't do the the, the leg thing because you know he's got combiner ports there for the legs.
But uh, anyway, let's let's move on to uh, the, the final thing, which is the, the four-part combiner. Now, Lucy forms the chest or the upper torso for the, the, the four-bot combiner. The big thing. So, uh, the way this works is uh, it's quite easy, really. You basically kind of take it back to car mode. Uh, pull the arms off. Put the legs back in. They plug together, and this piece sort of comes up the back like that. Those things come out the side. You take this piece off and put it back in the bonnet. And then you take this piece off, off vaults and stick it in the top of there, like so. And then vaults, you've got to reconfigure him. Again, you, you pretty much go back into car mode. Right, so you, you take him into this, this chunk like that, and then there's two pegs there, and there's two ports there, and you just stick them together. And then that's basically the top half of the, uh, the big four-bot combiner. Um, Two of the other guys become the arms, and two of them become the legs. Um, it plugs together reasonably well. Um, it only plugs together in that one place in the middle, those two pegs in the middle, and it's, it's reasonably solid, but I would like it to have actually plugged in back here somewhere, plugged in back here into the, 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 you know, the vault box legs that are sort of like folded back over. But... There it is, and there's the top half of the four bot combiner. Um, it looks weird, I mean, and yeah, there's a, a picture of it, just, uh, just, just here. And it looks kind of weird. Um, I don't think it's got much in the way of articulation, and that's part of the reason why I sort of didn't bother with it, because it looks so bland, it just looks like a like four car just, just you know, bunched together. <laughs> Kind of like um, GoBots Puzzler, kind of like that. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's uh, the first two parts of the the, the four bot combiner. Now the four bot combiner um, doesn't really have a name. Um, I was looking it up the other day and uh, I couldn't I couldn't really find a name for it. Um, they just call it they largely call it the the four way fusion. And uh, they only do it a couple of times in the in the first season, um, so yeah, it's not really a, a big thing. And then of course, then when Mini Force X came along, it, it was a completely different set of four spots and uh, a, a different, com uh, no, totally different combiner gimmick. But uh, yeah, there we go. Finally got those bits. So yeah, Lucy. Um, She's all right, actually. I quite like her. Um, I kind of wish I'd have got Lucy instead of Vault back in the day um, when I decided to get my first, you know, Mini Force figure. I mean, they're quite easy to work with. You know, it's. As you can hear, nice, nice clicky ratchets. Um, build quality, like I said, on these these reissue figures is 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 is, is pretty good actually. It's, it's it's decent. It's I would say it's on par with the the Sonicon original, and that's saying something because Sonicon, you know, they had the license to make official Transformers toys in Korea, and uh, you know they knew they knew their way around you know transforming robot toy, unlike some of these other companies that have sprung up to make toys for the mini no more subsequent uh, mini force toy lines but um yeah 
she's all right. She's good. And uh, like I said, my la- possibly my <laughs> last purchase from Eleven Street for because uh, I'm uh, I- I'm up to here with that that website and it's to it's uh, tomfoolery and uh, yeah. So yeah, there we go. There's my review of uh, Mini Force uh, Vault Bot. No, not Vault Bot. Mini Force <laughs> Lucy Bot. Yeah, I've got to get the names right. Um, yeah, she's a. Uh, it's it's an okay figure. It's it's really good. Um, I'm quite impressed with it, and uh, it uh, gives me good hope for for getting the other figures for the line, which is what I'm going to do next month. So my KTRTs for next month are going to be the two remaining parts of the uh, original Mini Force combiner. So that's going to be um, Max Bot and Sammy Bot. Uh, Sammy Bot, the fire engine. <sighs> He's probably the the the. the, the the one I'm least looking forward to getting because it just looks awful. It looks terrible. The, the aesthetic on it is, is horrible. It's got these really weedy sort of limbs and uh, it forms the legs for you know, both the uh, the combiners. And uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to getting that one particularly, but you never know, you know, when it arrives, the build quality might win me over, you know, the engineer and the build quality because it was designed and originally designed and built by Sonicon, that, that might win me over. But I know that the the combiners themselves they've got next to no articulation on the legs, so you know forget forget about that. But anyway, that's been me too. If I wellness, that's been uh, my last review for this month. Um, moving on tomorrow, I'll be doing my end of month bot haul, where you know you'll see Lucy bot again, along with everything else I got this month. So look forward to that. So with that being said, I've been too far wilderness. I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>